Costa Rica's Caribbean coast is a rich Do whatever we need to do. And the product from this chipper is sawdust. This is sawdust. We're looking at the uh, dull mantled howler monkey. But since it's the only howler monkey in Costa Rica, we'll talk about it like that. Okay, so the howler monkey is um, one of the four species that we have in the country. You know, one of the, another very interesting thing about the the monkeys and in general canopy animals is that if we think that intelligence is a way of resolving and remembering problems, then canopy animals need to deal with the structure of the forest. A tree snake, a brown. This place is full of these bocaracas or eyelash pit vipers. They have two scales on each eye. Um, we don't know what they are for, but... Uh, Surfing and the beach is what draws people to Puerto Viejo, just a few miles south of Cahuita. This is a popular destination, particularly for European tourists, so lots of scooter and bike rentals, hotels, and restaurants. Fast forward to 2020 and after a slow reintroduction and release of 45 great green macaws, 20 or 30 regularly visit the center, five were confirmed dead, and the other 10 are spotted regularly in a 50 mile radius from here. The main hiking trail that runs along the beach is popular with picnic tables placed at intervals along the beach. In the time of Christopher Columbus, there, there were no coconuts on the Caribbean Sea. They were introduced by the Spaniards and other European colonizers in the first half of the 1500s, but they are originally from the Pacific Ocean. We hope this brief look at the Caribbean side of Costa Rica will pique your interest in seeing and learning more about a very special place in the world.